How can you protect yourself from all the curses around you? Well, what you should know is that a curse is a negative energy. That means if you have any negative consciousness in you, curses will puncture your 88-inch aura and find a place to attach themselves. I want to give a simple secret today. If ever you find yourself dependent on someone, you are vulnerable to the supply of negative energy from them. Since your aura is about 88 inches in radius, neediness can puncture it. You will be absorbing their energies. But it doesn't have to be a person. It can be validation from your crush, friends, or money. Any kind of dependency makes you vulnerable to negative energies. The funny thing is you actually don't need to depend on someone or anything for any sort of energy. Everything you need is already inside you. You just need to awaken it. So, in this video, I will be guiding you on how you can protect your aura today. But first, let's begin with a story. She was once caught in a whirlwind of negativity, surrounded by people whose energies seemed to sap her vitality and joy. It felt as though she was constantly walking through a dense fog, unable to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Sarah's life seemed to be a magnet for curses. She was constantly battling financial struggles, plagued by recurring bouts of sickness and grappling with turbulent family dynamics. Her world, it felt like she was always teetering on the edge of disaster. No matter how hard she tried to break free from the cycle of negativity, it seemed to cling to her like a stubborn shadow, refusing to let go. It was as if she was wearing a cloak of vulnerability, making it all too easy for negative energies to latch onto her and wreak havoc in her life. Her financial situation was a constant source of stress and anxiety. Despite her best efforts to budget and save, it seemed like there was always more month than money. Bills piled up, debts loomed large, and Sarah found herself trapped in a never-ending cycle of scarcity and lack. But it wasn't just her finances that were suffering. Sarah's health was also in a state of constant flux. She seemed to catch every cold, flu, and virus that came her way, leaving her feeling drained and depleted. It was as though her immune system had thrown in the towel, unable to fend off the onslaught of negativity that surrounded her. And then there were the family issues. Oh, the family issues. Sarah's relationships with her loved ones were fraught with tension and conflict, leaving her feeling isolated and alone. It seemed like every family gathering ended in arguments and tears, further fueling the cycle of negativity that seemed to engulf her. In Sarah's world, it was all too easy for curses to take hold. Her aura, the energetic field that surrounded her, was like an open invitation for negative energies to come in and wreak havoc. It was as though she was wearing a target on her back, making her an easy target for anyone looking to spread their own brand of negativity. But amidst the chaos and despair, Sarah refused to give up hope. She knew that there had to be a way out of the darkness, that she held the power to break free from the grip of negativity and reclaim her life. And so, she embarked on a journey to protect herself from the curses from her circle. You can do it too. 1. She nurtured her aura. Our aura, often described as the energetic field that surrounds us, acts as a protective barrier against negative energies. The 88-inch radius aura is a metaphorical boundary that extends around us, encompassing our physical body, serving as our energetic shield. However, this protective shield can be compromised by various factors, one of the most significant being neediness. When we experience neediness, whether it's a constant craving for external validation, financial security, or emotional support, it punctures our 88-inch radius aura, leaving us vulnerable to negative energies. Hence, to nurture our aura and reinforce its protective barrier, we must address the underlying causes of neediness and strengthen our sense of self-reliance and inner fulfillment. This involves shifting our focus from seeking validation or security externally to cultivating a deep sense of self-worth and contentment from within. Practicing self-love and self-care becomes paramount in this process. By prioritizing our own well-being and happiness, we fill the gaps in our aura created by neediness, fortifying it against external influences. 
Engaging in activities that bring us joy, practicing gratitude, and connecting with our inner wisdom through meditation or introspection all contribute to strengthening our aura and preserving our energy. Furthermore, setting healthy boundaries plays a crucial role in protecting our aura from punctures caused by neediness. By asserting our needs and limits in relationships and interactions, we create a buffer zone that shields us from energy drains and negative influences. This reinforces the integrity of our aura, allowing it to function as an effective barrier against external pressures. 2. She recognized and addressed dependency. Dependency is a subtle yet powerful force that can leave us vulnerable to negative energies. When we rely on others for validation, approval, or support, we inadvertently give away our power and open ourselves up to external influences. Thus, recognizing and addressing these dependencies is the first step in protecting ourselves from negative energies. Dependency often stems from a lack of self-confidence or self-esteem. We may believe that our worth and value are determined by others' opinions of us, leading us to seek validation and approval from external sources. This constant need for validation makes us susceptible to manipulation and control, as we become willing to compromise our own values and boundaries in order to please others. To break free from the grip of dependency, we must first cultivate a strong sense of self-worth and self-love. This involves recognizing our inherent value as individuals, independent of external validation. We must learn to trust ourselves and our own judgment, rather than constantly seeking reassurance from others. Self-awareness is key in identifying and addressing dependencies. Take some time to reflect on your relationships and behaviors. Are there certain people or situations that you feel dependent on? What are the underlying emotions driving this dependency? By shining a light on these patterns, we can begin to unravel the roots of our dependency and take steps towards greater autonomy. Once we have identified our dependencies, it's important to take proactive steps to address them. This may involve setting boundaries with others, learning to assert our needs and desires, and practicing self-care and self-validation. To cap it all, breaking free from dependency is not easy but it is essential for protecting ourselves from negative energies. As we learn to rely on ourselves for validation and support, we become less susceptible to external influences and more empowered to create the life we desire. 3. She assessed her relationships. Our relationships play a significant role in shaping our experiences and influencing our energy. It's important to take a close look at the people we surround ourselves with and assess how they impact our well-being. Are our relationships uplifting and supportive, or do they drain us of our energy and leave us feeling depleted? In assessing our relationships, it's helpful to examine the dynamics at play. Are there individuals in our lives who consistently make us feel inadequate or unworthy? Do we find ourselves constantly seeking validation or approval from certain people? These may be signs that we are in toxic or unhealthy relationships that are contributing to our vulnerability to negative energies. It's also important to consider how our relationships affect our sense of self-worth and self-esteem. Are we surrounded by people who lift us up and encourage us to be our best selves, or do we feel constantly criticized and belittled? Our relationships should be sources of support and encouragement, not sources of negativity and judgment. Once we have identified the relationships that may be contributing to our vulnerability to negative energies, we can begin to take steps to address them. It's vital to remember that assessing our relationships is an ongoing process. As we grow and evolve, our needs and boundaries may change, and it's important to regularly evaluate the dynamics of our relationships to ensure they continue to support our well-being. 4. She cultivated self-validation. Self-validation is the practice of recognizing and affirming our own worth and value, independent of external validation or approval. It is a powerful tool for protecting ourselves from negative energies, as it helps to build resilience and strengthen our sense of self-worth. Many of us are conditioned to seek validation and approval from others from a young age. We learn to measure our worth based on external factors such as praise, recognition, or success, rather than on our inherent value as individuals. 
This constant need for validation can leave us vulnerable to negative energies as we become dependent on others for our sense of self-worth. Cultivating self-validation involves shifting our focus inward and learning to trust ourselves and our own judgment. It requires us to recognize that our worth is not determined by external factors, but by the inherent value we possess as human beings. We must learn to celebrate our strengths and accomplishments and to be compassionate with ourselves in moments of challenge or failure. Practicing self-validation also involves setting boundaries with others and learning to assert our needs and desires. It is a lifelong practice which requires patience, compassion, and dedication. But as we learn to validate ourselves and trust in our own worth, we become less susceptible to negative energies and more empowered to create the life we desire. 5. She set boundaries. Boundaries define the limits of what is acceptable and unacceptable in our relationships and interactions with others. They serve as a form of self-protection, helping to preserve our energy and well-being. Setting boundaries involves identifying our needs, values, and limits and communicating them assertively to others. It's about advocating for ourselves and honoring our own needs, even if it means disappointing or upsetting others. Without boundaries, we leave ourselves vulnerable to manipulation, exploitation, and emotional harm. Boundaries can take many forms, depending on the situation and the individuals involved. They may involve physical boundaries, such as personal space or physical touch. They may also involve emotional boundaries, such as expressing our feelings and needs, and setting limits on what we are willing to tolerate. In order to set effective boundaries, it's essential to be clear and specific about what we need and expect from others. This may involve having difficult conversations and confronting uncomfortable situations, but it's essential for our own well-being. Boundaries are not about controlling or punishing others, they're about taking care of ourselves and ensuring that our needs are met. When we set boundaries, we send a clear message to others that our needs and well-being are important and deserving of respect. This can help to prevent others from taking advantage of us or imposing their negative energy on us. It also helps to create healthier, more balanced relationships based on mutual respect and understanding. And that's how you can learn to protect yourself from all the curses and other negative energies.